Our first candidate is Nafisa Ali, Ali Bahai from Davenport, the great candidate for Davenport. Our second candidate is Sue Wong, the liberal candidate for Scarborough Asian Courts. Next, we have Manal Abdullahi, the liberal candidate for Scarborough Ridge Park. Now we'll have Manzara Shafiq, the liberal candidate for Scarborough Center. Yay! Now we're shifting parties, and the first of the first of the NDP will be Felicia Samuel, the NDP candidate for Scarborough Ridge Park. Support candidates who support transit. Yeah. Next up, we'll have Veronica Javier, the NDP candidate for Scarborough Goodwood. Now, we'll have Justin Kong, the NDP candidate for Scarborough North. Now, we'll have up Benjamin Truong, the NDP candidate for Scarborough Asian Courts. And with that, that concludes the candidates for the, uh, for the provincial elections. But we do have two city council candidates for the upcoming municipal election. Oh, I'm so sorry. We seem to have two candidates for the provincial elections. It's Anita Anandarajan. So sorry about that. And Lisa Patel, if you, if you don't mind walking the Yay! red bus lane now. Alright, so that concludes the provincial candidates, but now let's shift gears into the municipal candidates and we have two city council candidates. The first up is Kevin Ruba Singh. He is the candidate for Scarborough Southwest. And finally we have Jamal Myers, the city council candidate for Scarborough North. the turn. I just have to turn around and see all these amazing candidates. Thank you all for coming out today and showing your support for Better Transit. Alright, so in front of us right here is our pledge. Well, um, let me just read it out. So, this better trend in Scarborough, improving bus service is a major priority right now in Scarborough. When the Scarborough RT closes in 2023, we'll be stuck on stuck taking buses between Kennedy Station and Scarborough Center for at least seven years. So, for the provincial MPPs, they'll pledge to provide operation funding for transit. The Scarborough RT replacement bus service requires at least $67 million to operate between 2023 to 2030. The TDC right now is facing budget shortfall, shortfalls in the next two years as ridership continues to recover from the pandemic. Operating funding is needed to increase service, lower fares, and get more people riding transit. The second thing they'll pledge to is helping to fund the Edmonton East LRT. As we know, the Edmonton East LRT has been a well talked talk, well talked subject for at least at least since 2007 and so Toronto City Council has allocated at least 1.2 billion to helping connect Kennedy Station to Malvern to UT, via UTSC and now it's time for the provincial government to really uh, step up and give in funding and the third thing they'll be pledging is funding integration between GO and TDC. Right now, the provincial government has announced uh, discounts between multiple different municipalities like Durham and Brampton, but Toronto has been left out of the equation. And so, they'll be pledging for one flat fare in Toronto, and in which will unlock so much more rapid transit access in Scarborough.
All right, so now let's invite some of the candidates who will be signing our petition. So the first will be Veronica Javier. NDP candidate for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you so much. You know, I, I consider myself a Scarborough kid, like many of you. I grew up in Scarborough, and I took the RT, and I took the bus, and I remember the RT and how it hurt my ears every time I would take it across the city to try to get at least two hours outside of Scarborough to, to go to Toronto. This has been the average experience for, my, for many Scarborough kids. And, and it all started when Mike Harris cut the funding for our transit, and it continued on uh, for many years with Scarborough having to bear the brunt of a lot of that neglect and underfunding. You know, Ford's cuts to transit have made things even worse and really hurt a lot of Scarborough residents, a lot of Scarborough kids, a lot of students, a lot of everyone in Scarborough, tr truly. So we must continue to fight for accessible and safe, reliable transit. And we must ensure that the service is fully accessible, that it's frequent, that it's dignified, and the transit connects everyone all over Toronto. The ONDP commits to restoring provincial funding for municipal public transit and paratransit services to 50% of their net operating costs. This funding boost, <laughs> this funding boost will immediately improve services in communities across Scarborough. And so the ONDP with me is committed to working with the municipalities to improve service, to reduce wait times, and make municipal transit systems more affordable, especially for Scarborough. I stand alongside you, Scarborough kids uh, and Scarborough residents, and will continue to fight with you and for you for transit for Scarborough. Thank you so much, Veronica. We know you had a, a scheduling conflict, so uh, thanks so much for taking the time out today to uh, sign the petition. So now we'll be calling on the Liberal Party, which will be uh, Su Wong, Manal Abdullahi, Lisa Bedell, and Manzar Shafiq to sign our pledge. for organizing this important event for our community. You know, every important idea for social change has come from grassroots groups like TTC Riders. I am inspired by what I have heard this afternoon. Thank you to all the speakers and my local resident of Scarborough Center, Ivan. Thank you. Thank you for your for an incredible speech regarding the importance of local transit investment. I am proud of the TTC riders and each of us here today for the collective vision we bring for better transit in Scarborough. The Liberal Party of Ontario understands we must invest the time and money to improve the quality of transit for hundreds or thousands of transit riders. People like you, people like me, this week, Stephen Del Duca, our leader, announced that an Ontario Liberal government will be committed to reduce the transit fares to one dollar per ride. Yeah. On every transit line in Ontario, regardless of if you go use Go Transit, the TTC or YRT. This will reduce gridlock, greenhouse gas emissions, and make life more affordable for Ontario families. Our plan will provide families with immediate relief within the first 100 days of being elected. That's a plan. Scarborough deserves better transit integration. 
a liberal government will invest an additional $375 million in annual transit funding. This will support more routes, more frequency, and improved accessibility to get Scarborough moving. As we sit in Albert Camel Square, I hear the familiar thumb and grind of Scarborough RT, a familiar sound to all of us here in Scarborough. Unfortunately, the Scarborough RT will be shutting down in 2023. This will force thousands of Scarborough transit riders, such as me and you, to use congested buses to access our closest rapid transit line at Kennedy Station. As your MPP, I will advocate to all level of governments to help fund the Eglinton East LRT. Hey, hey. As taxpayers, you have done your part. You paid for the city Scarborough subway levy, and I'm proud of Toronto City Council's $1.2 billion commitment to connect Kennedy Station to Melbourne. It is now time for the province to commit our fair share. On June the 2nd, I hope you join me to vote for transit improvements in Scarborough. Together, we will create a more livable and stronger community. Thank you so much. So thank you very much, Mass. My name is Sue Wong. I'm the Liberal candidate for Scarborough Asian Court, a beautiful riding, diverse riding. And the beautiful Asian Court GO station and soon to be the Kennedy GO station and of course up in uh, Milliken. I'm gonna, not going to say what Mass already said. What I'm going to say is, beside the organizer of today's event, I want to thank all the young people who are here today. I was saying to my two volunteers who are with me, Joe and Carmen, I feel very old when I saw how many young people passionate about making sure public transit is affordable, accessible, but also, most importantly, equitable. Because this is a conversation we have been talking and talking and talking. Talking is cheap, my friends. You need to do the ballot on June the 2nd. I also heard earlier, just because you are not Canadian, you can't get involved in that, this election. That's not true. You need to advocate for yourself, to educate your neighbors, but more important, to advocate for those who can vote on your behalf. So I want to say thank to everybody for being here today. But most importantly, we've got to work together with the lower level government, which is the city. Because even when we get into office on June the 2nd, unless Toronto Council working with the province, we're not going to get very far. Because at the end of the day, TTC is run by the city. So thank you so much for inviting all of us here today. Hello everyone, my name is Manal Abdullahi and I'm the Liberal candidate for Scarborough Rouge Park. Here, here. I'm so honored to be here. This is a very, very important cause. It's very personal to me. I grew up and still live in Malvern, raising my daughters there. And I am concerned about whether they'll have improved access versus how we were growing up. So this is very personal. I work at Centennial College as a success advisor. So I reiterate, it's important. A lot of international students don't have the same access to better transit. We need to ensure that we speak for our neighbors, we improve access to better transit in Scarborough, and it's something I'm committed to advocating for our community for. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Scarborough, one love, one love Scarborough. I'm Lisa Patel. I'm the Ontario Liberal candidate for Scarborough Southwest, and I can't tell you how much uh, joy it is to see all of you in, in, this, in this square together. So I, it takes me back to my times of, of fighting for causes and things that are important. So just keep believing, don't stop fighting, and we need change now. And that's only possible with all of us. All of us are the, the masters of change. So we can do this, and that is by getting involved. Getting involved in this election, making sure you know who you, your officials are, and of course, constantly don't give up the hope on matters like transit. Because just like all of you, I grew up right here in Scarborough. I know exactly what all of us have witnessed and have been through, and it's time for change. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.